Good morning, world! Little Shane here. Sigh. It's my last day of vacation. <laughs> I go back to work tomorrow. You know what? I'm going to be honest with myself, with myself and with you guys. I didn't miss work, but I am looking forward to going back to work. I don't mind going back to work. I, I generally like my job. I like the people I work with. I like the company, especially because the company has gone out of its way to help me do better at my job with my disability. So that being said, yeah, I'll go back tomorrow. <laughs> also, let you know, I have overtime this week. So, yay! So my vlogs will not be daily because I need to, you know, go to work. But there'll be two days this week, I guarantee, vlogs. It'll be this Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday will be to talk about my upcoming comic on Facebook. And Friday will be the joke of the week. So, there we go. That being said, I am going to talk about a subject that is very, very, very touchy and personal. And... This might tick some of you people off. So, what I want you to do is really listen to what I'm saying. Alright? Really focus on what I'm saying before you get upset, offended, angry, annoyed, whatever. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Listen to the whole story. And then if you have a comment or something you want to talk to me about or if you're offended and you want to bring it to my attention you can do so I will wholeheartedly encourage you to do that but make it a legitimate comment make it a coherent comment make it an intelligent comment criticism or disagreement please do not just send me you're stupid or that sucks or my god why are you still alive you know, just you know, I mean, you can send it if you want to, but if you want me to take it seriously, have an intelligent argument to what I'm about to say, okay? Because I encourage that. I don't mind debating with people, going back and forth and understanding each other. That's, I'm all there. And before I talk about this subject, I want to talk about why I'm bringing this up. I started this vlog as a way to motivate myself to lose weight, a way to motivate others to lose weight but losing weight isn't enough you need to be fit in every aspect of your life mentally physically spiritually socially those are all things that we need to work on making well because all those things contribute to your behavior all those things contribute to how you act even what you eat right if you're depressed you're not going to want to take care of yourself all right that's a fact like if you're depressed you won't clean your room you won't cook properly for yourself you will only eat the bare necessities and you'll be depressed and if you are feeling depressed and if you know you're having those issues I encourage you to get help do that so that being said on that note we're not going to talk about depression I just saying you know take care of yourself so that being said I'm going to tell you a story that happened years ago okay I was you know early 30s maybe maybe early to mid 30s and I'm not going to tell you where I know this woman from I will tell you that I asked her permission to tell the story and she said yes she at the time was around 55 years old she was talking to a group of her friends. I happened to be around, and she knows me. They were discussing, you know, things of a uh, personal nature. She told her little friends that, little friends, my God, that is insulting. She told her friends, sorry for the little friends, I don't, whenever I think of, of, of a girl talking to her friends I'm always thinking of like Cassandra and Eleanor and like oh she's with her little friends and so I apologize she told her friends that her husband threatened to leave her she 
she said that her husband told her, quite frankly, that if they don't start having sex soon, he was going to walk. He was done. And, well, her group of friends were all, you know, saying, let's, let's, you know, what a man, what a jerk, typical man, effing man, stupid man, what a pig, all that stuff. How dare he use, think of you as a sexual object? Yada, 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 yada. So, they said, let's get a man's opinion on this. Shane seems like he knows, knows a thing or two. Let's talk to him. Well, they didn't probably say that, but they did talk to me. I like to think they thought, you know, I knew a thing or two. But anyway, so they brought me in on this conversation. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to warn every single one of you out there. Do not ask my opinion if you don't want my real opinion. Because you may not like what I say to you. That being said, <laughs> let's begin. So, she told me that what her husband told her. And I said, well, before I give you my opinion, may I ask you a couple of questions first? And she thought about it and said, yes. I said, all right. When he approaches you for sex, is he nasty about it? Like, is he walk in, woman, service me? Or how does he approach you, generally? And she goes, no, he's actually quite great. He's very considerate. He's, um, you know, very loving. And when he, you know, approaches me for sex, it's a very, you know, it's, it's always a romantic way. Is it always? She goes, well, no, once in a while, when we gotta have it, we gotta have it. But, and generally, when he plans a night of, a night for us, it's always something nice, and he tries to, tries to woo me into sex, and I've just been telling him no lately, I don't want to. So then I said, all right, have you considered being a marriage counsel, a sexual therapist, um, a doctor, anything? And she goes, no, and he's actually been telling me we should do that. Uh-huh. Um, how long has this been going on? It was all five, six months now. Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. You ain't gonna like it. She's all what? He should leave you because he can do better. And the daggers in their eyes were just—they—they <laughs> they wanted to hurt me. And they're like, how can you say that? That's you, it's like you're a pig, blah, 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 blah. Women aren't sexual objects. Women are this. And I said, well, calm, calm down. Just let me get my piece out. Then grab your pitchforks. What I said to her was, I said, you're telling me that this man is loving, supportive. He doesn't, he's not rude when it comes to sex. He's very, you know, passionate about it. Um, and he's put up with this for six months and actually offered alternatives to fix things try to fix it so then I proceed I said and you know is there a reason why you're not having sex is he a bad provider does he is he is he mean to your family and she says no he's a good provider he, he's, he's a, generally he's a wonderful man it's just this one thing is upsetting me so he's a wonderful man who has told you what he needs and you have rejected him consistently for six months and she goes well yes well, let me ask you something, I asked her. I said, what if it was you? What if for six months you were asking your husband to be intimate with you and he told you no every time? And you came up with the most creative ways that you could think of and he kept telling you no. And after six months, how would you be reacting? What would you be feeling? And what would you be thinking? She goes, well, maybe he's getting it somewhere else, I guess. Hmm, you think maybe he's thinking that? She goes, well, oh, man, I don't know. I never, I never thought of it that way. And I said to her, I said, sex is more than just physical pleasure. There's an intimacy with it. And everyone needs to be touched and loved in that way. Everyone needs intimacy. And it doesn't have to be full-blown sex. But there's an intimacy there that everybody craves. Every person on this planet who's normal and healthy in the mind and body needs that. And she says, well, I just haven't had the urge for sex, like, at all. So 
realize that there could be something physically wrong with you. You're in your 50s, you're probably going through menopause, or about to, and you could have an estrogen problem. You need to talk to a doctor about it. Well, of course, her and her friends decided, I don't know anything, I'm dumb, and just dismissed it. That happens a lot. People ask me my advice, I give it, and people dismiss it. So, whatever. But here's the funny part. Two months later, she told me I was right. She eventually went to the doctor. And it turns out that she had an estrogen problem. And there was a cream for that. Well, there's probably other things for it, but she used the cream. I'm not going to tell you where. You can Google that. <laughs> and after a while, she started feeling a little frisky again. Getting the old uh, juices going. That was great. But here's the funny thing about this thing. When I was telling her this, one of her friends said to me that I must view women as a sexual object if I feel that sex is that important. And that that man is a pig and doesn't really love his wife if that is one of the things that will be a deal breaker. So I proceeded to tell her, I said, no, I am not a pig. I don't view women as a sexual object, but I do view, view that relationships need a good, healthy sex life. So then she said, if your wife stopped having sex with me, would you leave her? And I said, yes, yes I would. And my reasoning behind that is if I'm not having an intimate relationship with my partner, then we're just roommates. Well, I already have a roommate. He's a strange man that lives in my house. I don't need another one. And I don't need, I, I don't rely on my wife to do all the cooking. I don't rely on her to do all the cleaning. I don't rely on her, you know, like, like in the old days, that's what men relied on their wives for. I don't. I can do all that. And I do. And when, on, during my vacation, my wife hasn't had to do any dishes. Um, the only laundry she has to do is hers and Cassandra's and that's because I don't know where she puts this stuff <laughs> I know it's pathetic but I have no idea where, she, where her clothes should go and my biggest fear is that I put it away wrong and then she comes why did you do this wrong and I'm, so I, just, I don't touch it but I do my laundry I did all the towels and beddings and all that fun stuff but anyway so I told her no my views on a relationship and I told her that that woman's husband does love her because you see if that man did not love his wife he wouldn't have bothered telling her that if things don't get better he's going to leave why would he? he would just leave if he didn't love this woman he would took off he would have already been having an affair on her and no longer complaining and then eventually moved out and lived his life but instead, he, he basically pleaded with her, we need to get this fixed. Now that, you know, that means he loves her. Very true. Because it isn't hard to get a sexual relationship anymore. I mean, hell, they got apps for that. I'm never going on those apps. Happily married, not touching them. <laughs> but, you know... So, eventually, things gotten better for her. It's been over a year now, maybe longer, and they're very happy. I see them on their Facebook page, always posting new adventures they're going on, and they're very, very happy people. So I'm you know, pleased that things worked out for them. So, that is my story, that is what happened. Pretty much, um, you can, you know, this is where you can sharpen your pitchforks. But like I said, if you disagree with what I said, get, with the advice I gave her, please let me know in the comments or reach out to me on Facebook. Um, you can find me under Shane Halfyard. I'll put the link in the description. Reach out to me at um, my Gmail account at little, sh or no, sorry, not little Shane. <laughs> You can reach out to me on my Gmail account at loseitwithshane at gmail.com. 
and or leave a comment down below. If you thought I gave good advice to those women, please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you want to share it, I mean, all those things will really help me out and I would appreciate it. If you have a topic you wish for me to discuss, research, or look into, please, again, reach out to me on my email, Facebook, or in the comments down below, and I will be happy to look into that, talk about it, and maybe we can open up a dialect somewhere that's over, over these things. Uh, other than that, this is my last day of vacation, so, you know, till next time, remember, you can do it, and you're worth it. Take care.